Hi there, I'm here in a very private training moment with the students that actually are going to graduate in a few months. We have here the British Doshi, Luis Nogueira Serrano, and the British Sensei, Rebecca Roca and Jose Tola. And we thought that it would be very interesting to discuss some details of the Aiki Jiu Jitsu San Lome. Uh, first, probably you're going to see some techniques that were never uploaded before, so this is a fresh um, video for those who follow the YouTube. And I will have the pleasure actually to let Luis San explain just the technique that we were seeing a few moments ago. Please. Thank you very much, those the pleasure of time. Uh, the first technique, the first sequence that we are going to explain, it's the, the sequence number six in this case. Uh, the UK will try to attack in a tsuki attack, is to say, with the right hand attack, he will try to attack in this way. For uh, many years, the student has studied this kata only by a simple attack of the right tsuki. But Susumu Motosima gives some uh, clear information about that. Because, of course, if the attack is so strong, for example, a Kempo practitioner, in, we try to, to defend here, it would be impossible because in this case she will try to take out the, uh, the fist and it would be very impossible to, to do any kind of, of, uh, of defense here. Then, what Susumu Motosima, uh, sorry, Susumu Motosima sensei explained that the idea was to take the handle of the katana to take the handle of a knife on my obio, on my on my belt, with the idea to take out and attack me. Then, in this case, when she is trying to take out, I have here the control, and of course, here she in this case will lose the the handle, and I could go for the technique. Then, this is very important to understand because it's an anthropological reason uh, that explains. Why in this Seite Gata, in Sambon Mei Kiyoyutsu, many techniques start with a, with a single uh, tsuki. Then, passing to the technique, okay, right now without the katana, we have the idea clear. She will try to punch me in a tsuki. Here, I defend, blocking the both hands, and with this, I pass to the side, performing what is a kote mawasi. Okay, right in this moment, we have this following problem. If we only apply the kote mawasi here, she could try to take out a knife and trying to pierce me, to stab me, and this will be a fail on the, on the execution of the kata. And this could be asked on test, on, on exams. And it's very important to notice that here the elbow need to go forward in order to avoid the other shoulder. Going to the side and putting the hand down to the ground for protect. Right now, we have to, to save my body passing to the side, to this side. Okay, only stepping over uh, her forearm here. From here, I have the control and I have this here. Also, it could be possible to be on this side and passing to this position and having this control and this position. Because here we have her head and we could maybe put the weight over and having this control. Then we have control on her, on her arm, on this part, on her shoulders. And here, the control with the kotemawasi, having close to the hip. Then, right now, we have the ending part. This is the end of the sequence number six of Sambone Seite Gata. In the last part of the technique, uh, what is the function of the hara? Thank you very much, uh, Please, uh, come uh, close to me in order to, uh, to, to watch what's the problem here. We are just performing the Kote Mawasi technique and we come here. We have here the control then. We have here and my hara it's close to the, to the, to the, to the Kote Mawasi, to the yolo here. 
The idea here is that my hara turn to the side in order to perform and follow what is the Kotemawas is to say, the wrist lock technique here. Here, my hara has to control and pass. And we have here uh, the control, the final control is uh, the shibaru itself. Oh, right? Thank you very much for